Welcome to the Polish Combination Lock Worldwide Decoding Challenge. I got in contact with a Polish engineer, his name is Zbigniew Olejnik, and he is the inventor of a new combination lock mechanism. He invented the locking mechanism, he designed the parts, and he got two models printed out on a 3D printer recently. What you see here is his uh, website, where he shows the parts, explains how the lock works, and also describes possible applications. There's also an associated YouTube channel where he uh, talks about his lock in great detail so you can understand how it works. Uh, you can look at the parts, at the 3D model and so on and so forth. Yeah, he's very proud of his uh, lock and he claims that there is no one around the world who is able to uh, decode this. Um, he says, I claim that this is 100% uncrackable mechanism and there is no one around the world that will be able to open it without any tools uh, to damage or destroy it. Yeah, he um, is willing to send this lock to recognize people, as he says, to try out his mechanism to see if it's really um, uncrackable. Um, and so I'm a lucky guy because the lock is currently um, in the transfer to my lock lab. I tracked it with UPS and it's already in Germany and I'm expecting it to arrive very, very soon. Yeah, in the meantime, I want to show you some 3D models of the parts so that we can understand how the lock works. So here you see a 3D model of his invention. He calls it Polish Combination Lock or PCL, that's the brand name. And he not only thinks of using his mechanism on combination padlocks, but also on door locks or safes. With this 3D model, I can explain to you how the lock works and how it operates. So to open up this lock, you would need to dial in the right code on these five outer rings. And then you can turn the red knob to the right, 90 degree, which causes all the rings to stick together. You can then turn the whole ring pack to the right, 90 degree, which allows then the shackle to come free. Let's strip down the lock to see how it works. So here we can see the inside of the lock. Connected to the outer rings are five inner code wheels or code rings. Let's get rid of all of these except one. And it's easier to explain. From this ring we can see there are false gates on every position except on one and if all the inner code wheels are aligned correctly with a deep cutout with a true gate on top this blue part can be pulled down and to pull it down we have to turn the knob we can look at the back get rid of this part here for a moment there is a gear connected to this red knob on the outside and when all the true gates are aligned correctly we can turn the red knob and the gear would then cause the actuator to be pulled down. So now if it's pulled down the blue part is connected with all the five code rings which would then allow by using the um, outer rings to turn the whole wheel pack or code pack so to speak to um, to the left in this point from this point of view which would then cause this part here the deadbolt to be moved to the left and give room free for the shackle to be pulled out so that's the way this lock works and you can see there are no springs inside which is an advantage from a durability point of view however this means that um, the lock locking mechanism is able to be tensioned from the outside and this gives me hopefully a little chance to get this lock decoded let's see how this works when i have this lock 